Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Ashen. We are nearly done with the Bronze Mire, and I think that we are drawing ever closer to the finale of this game. But we're here with Jokel just outside of the Kal Estate. So you can see here, I did travel all the way from that ritual stone, made my way through where we've already seen before. We met Geffen down here, Mother's Tears. And we are now just outside of Kal Estate, where we are looking for... Malik, we're going to be heading into, or at least around the Lathyrus Palace, looking for him. Now, I did change up my gear a little bit, and I did some more farming to make it a little bit more doable. So you can see here, my Ash Infused Forgotten Axe is now plus four. I have the Nomad's Bulk up to plus three. And then as far as my Talismans and Relics, I actually went back to Guardian's Pact. I tried out Guardian's Pact before, and I was getting extra Scoria because I had the Broken Wings. I now have the Full Wings, and here's my theory. I tried this just kind of on a whim. I met Geffen again, and this was a, a talisman that seems to be tied to Geffen. So I thought maybe since I met her again, maybe my wings are now restored, and they are. Whether or not they can be broken, I'm not sure, but now I'm getting a 30% damage reflection, which is very cool. All right, and then I still have Seer for the health regain, second wind for my sprint uh, stamina reduction, rampage, extra damage after killing an enemy, and then steadfast. So this is something I did switch out as well. As long as I'm over 60% HP, I get an extra 10% to my damage reduction. Okay, well, let's head down and let's see if we can't go track down this Malik. I did some exploration off camera as well. Not too much, but I did find some more Scoria and I found, uh, I don't think I found any new weapons. As of it. Oh, new enemies. So, shielded enemies. I'm going to have to probably do some shield bashing, I would imagine. Oh, you have quite quite a lot of health, it seems. Oh, careful, careful. Watch that stamina. And there we go. Got you. Okay, you are just a couple of normal... Oh, hey. Nice little ambush here. And got you. Oh, careful. I'm trying to switch targets. I don't know why I'm trying to fight without any stamina whatsoever. I'll take your apple cricket. And what else is hiding right here? Another spearhead. Okay, so it seems like we're already in the area where Malik is. So he could be hiding, I guess, anywhere inside of these ruins. At least that's the way it seems. I can hear Geffen splashing around. I don't know why, but that just makes me so happy. So happy. It's um oh boy. It's almost like she has no care in the world, which, I mean, let's be honest, she should have a few. Uh tell you what, I think I'm going to attempt a nice big R2. Nice charge. That was excellent. And keep going. There we go. Ooh, that works really, really nicely for those shielded enemies. Really nicely. So I can just kind of keep them stunned while Jokul just goes to town. I mean, look at her. She's just she's just loving life. And I can't blame her. Well, okay, I can't blame her. There's, there's a lot that's wrong currently in the world. But for her, it just seems like, you know, she's good. You know, part of me is missing that club. I do love the moveset. I just love being able to attack and then getting right out of there. Number of enemies down below. I could probably soften them up with some spears. And I do still have my time-worn spears, so I think I'll do that. See if I can at least take out a couple. Come on, walk right into it. That works for me. There's one. Oh, you have a shield. I didn't realize you were a shielded one. That's okay. Let's let's hop down. And Oh. So, let's see, Jokel, you are actually doing great up there. Get back to my one-hander. Do I have my I do have my shield out. It didn't look like I did. Got you. All right. So it looks like we may be finishing up Jokel's quest line today. Once we get Malik, I think that may be it. Oh, lingonberries. Good for creating some of those potions. I do see the item over there to the left, but I want to make sure I carefully... Oh, boy. Very carefully get this one. Sapien 
Root. The Scoria does seem to be coming very, very nicely now. Enemies are dropping fairly large amounts, enough so that I should be able to upgrade some more weapons, or at least upgrade the ones that I'm currently using. This place is somewhat sizable, it seems. And I do want to be, you know, a little bit thorough. Oh, hey. How about we take care of you with some big heavy hits. There we are. I do love the follow-up on this. It just seems very, very easy to keep them stun-locked. It also seems like they're really trying to get me trapped. Almost use a bit of a pincer move where they get me in between different groups of enemies. Let's see if we can't draw some of you closer. Let's see, Joe Killer, are you making your way around? Oh, thought I hit the dodge button in time. You got that one, I will deal with you. And? Oh, what do we got? Oh, we have one of the spear guys? Mm. Jokel's in trouble, Jokel's in trouble. I need to, oh, no, no, hop down, hop down, hop down. <laughs> Killing the one was enough to clear some space, so sorry, Joe Kill. Oh, gotta hold that. And let's see, look around. I see an item hidden over there. Do still have this shielded enemy up here. But you really hate this. I can say that with all certainty. Oh, oh wow, this, this heavy weapon is fantastic. Really enjoying that one. Which is good because I really haven't been enjoying too many of the heavier weapons. Watch it. Oh, must have gone under the shield. Luckily, having enough stamina is typically enough to deal with those enemies. I really ought to be using apple crickets more often. Oh, Jokel, where are you even fighting? And do you need me? Mm, the answer is no. No, you don't. Probably good. Not very, uh, not very good at this game, if we're being totally honest. Not that that comes as a surprise to many. More sapient moss. Hmm, still, no enemies. Oh, that's an enemy. Whoa. Excellent. Nice kill. I'm going to give all credit to Jokla on that one. Got that item over there. Nothing around the edges. Good. So far, I think we've cleared this pretty well. Ah, I saw that. Lots of upgrade materials. And I'm sitting on 50,000 scoria. That's enough to get something up to, I think, plus four, if not plus five at this point. All right, let's go the long way around. Ooh, that looks like it's gotta be something good, right? Bit of a shrine with a couple of those shielded enemies nearby. Let's pull one, hold on, Jokel. Back up, back up. Back up, back up. All right, one's almost dead. Nicely done, very nicely done. Oh, something else is behind me. Something else. It's a dog. It's a dog. I can deal with the dog. Get up there. Oh, another dog. Joker, you got that one? All right. Thank you, sir. I'll grab some lingonberries. And what were they guarding? Defiler Veil. Ooh. But shadowed armor offering dark protection. Okay. We haven't gotten any new cool armor in a while. And this looks... Oh. 
way down though in the defense. But how does it look? I mean, that's what's most important, right? Yep, that counts. That'll do. Along with the wings, this just looks so cool. Somewhat significant damage reduction decrease though, so we have to be careful. But we're doing all right with that Seer's Talisman and having eight Crimson Gourds. Actually, I haven't even had to touch them. I haven't had to touch a single Gourd yet. Well, I guess all we need to do is keep pushing forward a little bit. Malik has to be someone nearby. What about over here? Anything hiding in this corner? Nope. Oh, and that just doesn't go where I th thought it would. That goes right back to that little altar area. So where, where's Malik? Possibly in that tower? Or what have I missed? Let's, let's check in here. Oh, actually it goes down. Right, I did notice this. There is a section that goes down into, oh boy. Come back this way. Oh, I see Malik. It's like you just wanted to get my attention. Ooh, I don't know if I like that. Oh, I wish I was better at throwing spears. Oh, oh, okay. Jokel, um. Careful now. Oh, and I've just lost Jokel. Where is the door? Where's the door? Uh-oh, <laughs> I don't know where the door is. There, let's go. Oh. We're going to have to, we're not gonna go back for him. We will make this work. Oh, maybe we'll make this work. That worked out, that worked out. And one more hit on you, and you are, eh, you're just about full, but that's okay. You lose so much stamina when you block. It is very helpful that every shield is 100% damage reduction, but it is also really, really tough. So you have a few folks with you. Okay, I think it is time for a cricket. Might as well pop one of those off, and I think it's time to do one of those as well. Oof. Are you, yep. Oh, actually, you aren't actually gonna fight? Oh, careful now. Oh my, time to heal, time to heal. And let's just do some, oh, oh my goodness. So it turns out that Jokel was doing, or Jokel, I keep saying Jokel, but some of you have corrected and said it's Jokel. So that's what I'm trying to say. Not that I think it's the end of the world, no matter what, but. And a little bit more. And one left. Can I hit you with a spear? Almost. Will I do anything through your shield? Probably not. All right, just me and Malik here. Although Malik maybe isn't hostile. Apparently not. Seeks me in the cursed darkness of my shame. I did my duty, though it broke my heart. But what choice was there? The Ashen was dying. She was just one child to save thousands. Lady Amaris, little Mishra, I took her to Riach, eldest of the three Elder Dark. In return, the Dark One gifted me the Umbral Veil. As I carried it from the deepest corners of the land, it permeated my soul, whispering of power to put
put an end to death. Enough to hold the encroaching darkness at bay. Truthfully, I coveted the umbral veil by the time I returned triumphant. The shadow of the ashen pried the veil from my hands and banished me to walk in the dark. There is but one way to clear our curse and grant rest to our line. I have to kill him? Such a trusting child. So kind. She gave me her doll. So I would not be sad. I left her there. I returned. Fool that I was. The umbral veil corrupted the shadow of the ashen. Cursed us all. Well, I'm sorry, Malik. Got the shield of Malik, and now we have to return so we can tell Jokel what happened. This doesn't sound like we're done just yet, though. Jokel's ancestor Malik served the royal family at the end of the Third Age of Light. Malik sought to use the Umbral Veil to rise up against King Omar. His failure stained his bloodline with a curse that even Jokel's family came to bear. Hmm, or maybe, maybe we are done, but it sounds like we have to fight that Third Elder Darth in order to be truly done. Sapient Root. Well, I think it's time to head back and talk to Jokel about what has transpired since he wasn't uh, <clears throat> with us to hear it. Oh, I do like the look of these robes, tattered as they are. All right, Jokel, we met Malik. Ahu came to me in my dreams, this time to say goodbye. Our father was there too. I've never seen them so happy. I awoke, <laughs> grinning like a fool, my cheeks wet with tears. The curse is gone. I can feel it, as surely as I can feel the light on my face. And Malik, he left something, didn't he? Please, do me this one last favor. Show it to me. This shield. It was once the symbol of our noble house. Ahu drew it for me one day. It's yours now, my friend. My family has a future again. We don't need the past. So we actually get his shield as an item. Oh, and Jokel's journey is complete, which means Jokel is done, Isla is done, Vorsa is done, and with Flokier, all we need to do is get all the way into the Gnaw and find Lyra. We are definitely rapidly approaching some sort of conclusion. So let's see, this is lower defense, only minus 25% stamina regen, whereas that's 40. Uh, the shield stability is a little bit less as well, but I think we'll use it in honor of Jokul and his family. Right, well, I have some scoria spending to do, and I think I will do that off camera, and I'll show you what I come up with in just a little bit. Well, just the tiniest bit of malfunction there. I actually was just recording, although it wasn't actually recording anything. Luckily, you haven't really missed very much. All I've done is I cleared from this ritual stone all the way up into the Shattered Ramparts. You've seen me do that run before, so it's not like you're missing anything. As far as what I did with that Scoria, I did upgrade my Forgone Axe to plus five, and I did purchase nine, excuse me, 18 of the Shield Maiden Spears. They're very expensive. I'm excited to give them a try, but my goodness gracious, 5,000 Scoria and 7 Spearheads just for 9 of them seems a little bit extravagant. But we are heading towards the Palace of Lothyrus, which is absolutely beautiful. Probably one of the best vistas so far in the game. And I'm really and truly hoping <laughs> that there's a Ritual Stone. Oh, there is! And that might even be a Travel Ritual Stone. Which would be even better, because we are going to be settling in. And I imagine if it is really as big as it seems on the outside... We're going to be in it for the long haul. And sure enough, it is a traveling one. Great. Look at this place. Look at this place. So that is where we're going to be headed into the, to find the Shadow of the Ashen. I think we're going to do a little bit of exploration, though, first. Oh, look at that. Shield Maiden Spears. Maybe I didn't have to buy any after all. And tell you what, since we're going to start finding them... Why not start playing with them? Now, I'm not going to use those to do any fast travel. That would be incredibly wasteful. 
All right, let's get this person. These are by far the more dangerous ones. Come on. I'm not really sure why Jokel is here and not Amara. This is Amara's quest after all. Nope, don't be tricked. Don't be fooled into going to pick that up. All in due time. And finish the Nope. And is there something up here? Well, there was a statue I could have just fast traveled to. Okay, but nothing else. But nothing else at the moment. Let's just grab what they dropped. Apple Cricket. I can definitely start using those. I have quite the abundance of them. And let's see. My goodness gracious. I mean, there's just so much to explore even before I get into the palace. Might as well do a little bit of running around. You know, one thing I noticed, I've already talked about the loot at great lengths and how it can be a little bit disappointing, but I found something else that can be a little bit troubling, and that is the stash size is far too small. I have not found everything. I'm, I'm well aware that I have missed probably some items as well as oops, some armor sets, and yet my stash is full. I can't put anything in it currently, and there's no way to upgrade the stash. So it just seems like I don't know I don't know what they're trying to accomplish. Between not giving you enough Actually, is that what I wanted? Are those bones? Yeah, bone spears. Between not giving you enough space and also giving you loot that's just somewhat uninteresting over time, it, it's almost like they're actively trying to dissuade you from Hmm. Dissuade you from exploring. Sapien and a large scoria, excellent. I do have the ability to do, oh, can I make it? I can. I do have the ability to make my foregone even higher than plus five if I have the scoria. At this point, we are utilizing the twin sapien roots, but I do have a few of those, not too many. Oh, careful now. And do I wanna get up there? Not sure. Let's let's run around a little bit. I have a feeling that this episode we're probably not even going to get into the palace. Probably just going to do some running around on the outside and doing some looting, which I think is okay. Especially if we can get some more scoria. I would love to upgrade a little bit more before I go in anyway. So some more large scoria patches, or stashes rather, would be excellent. As would the twin... Sapient roots. Oh, by the way, some of you posted in the comments, sapient. Yeah, it just basically means of human, because we are sapiens. We are sapient creatures. Not really sure how to make of that in terms of these items, but yeah, it just really, that's all it means. Wow, a lot of, a lot of stuff on the outside here. We're not even in the dungeon. Jokel using Orly's Fuse once again. Not really sure why I have Jokel and not Amara, but... Oh, back up, back up, back up. We'll leave that guy to his own devices. Don't think I can go up here. Unless there's a statue, which I don't... Oh, currently see. That was a really good plunge attack by Mr. Jokel. Oh, that was a horrible plunge attack by yours truly. Jokel is a much better plunger than I am. <laughs> Weird thing to say. Oh, look at you trying to climb. Alright, Jokel, you go for the head. There we go. Oh my goodness gracious. Actually, I have been around this area before. Oh, look at that. I'm actually heading back into the Bronze Mire. I don't think we need that. I don't think we need that yet. Let's do a little bit of... Oh, there we go. Large score. You can farm them from these big guys, which I believe are the listeners, which is not too bad. That is enough for me to get this... Ooh, new armor. 
this Forgone Axe to plus 5, I believe. So, it goes back up to 80. Stun resistance is also 80. That's pretty good stun resistance, whereas this is only 55. Let's see how this looks. Okay, I, I kind of dig it. I can get on board with this for a little bit at least. What else do we have, though? Up here in this building has got to be something, right? Back into the Highland. Shields up. Let's look around. And... Actually, I've been here. Oh, I've been here. This is actually where I died. I see how it's all looping together. All right. Well, tell you what, I think... I think that'll probably do it. Let's make our way back to the Ritual Stone. Let's make our way back to the Ritual Stone. If I knew I was that close, I would have just run over and tagged it. Ah, oh, what a shame. What a shame. Still looking around a little bit. I feel like there's probably some areas that I haven't hit on just yet. Maybe some well-hidden feathers or something. Look at how close I was. Oh my goodness. Right. Hmm. Let's start, let's just start going in a little bit. We're not gonna go very far. We're not gonna go very far. In fact, we're, we might not even make it still because there's still some items on the outside to explore. I'm surprised that I haven't gotten more twin sapient roots. In fact, the only ones I think I've collected are from the wrinkled grotto right near the start. Ooh, that is some interesting music. Palace of Lathyrus. Right away, we have a gourd-filling basin. Feels like that's eventually going to open. Is that a hookah in there? Whoa. Okay. Uh, remember, you don't have your shield right now. So if you try to block, you're just going to put your lantern down, which isn't the worst thing in the world. Back up, back up. And there we go. Thank you for the finish, Jokel. We might just dip in just a little bit, maybe collect some more Scoria. Okay, this is a really cool looking dungeon, if nothing else. I really like that this is not just some beat down dungeon, but this is actually a palace. I mean, it's very decadent. There are beautiful furniture pieces and different ornate vases. Yes, you have to say vases when you're in a palace. That's basically a rule. So this might be a big dungeon. I imagine it probably is, but maybe it won't be so bad because it's just its really good looking. Oh, probably have to do the double open. Jokel, I'm going to head over there, pal. You sure do. I really wouldn't mind to have a uh, human companion for this. Oof. Wow. Wait, no, no. Okay, I can always use a Craven's Remnant if I need it. Big guy coming in. Ooh, real big guy coming in. Not that much damage, though. Oh, but you are fast. And you take a lot of damage. All right, not so bad. Not so bad. I'm still thinking I probably need to head back, though. And I actually could have bypassed him just by using that statue. Oh, didn't even see you. Oh, nice poke. Nice use of the halberd there. Right. Maybe I don't need my lantern here just yet. Uh-oh, Jokel's getting hurt. All right. We need to finish this. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Whoa. Heal up, heal up, heal up. You are just about dead, though. There we go, got you. Yeah, this this might be the sign that I should get Jokel up and beat a hasty retreat. I don't know if that really sounds like me, though. It almost assuredly does not. Aha, there we go. There's some twins. Hmm... 
You are one of those really quick shadow people, aren't you? Oh, but you're going to be one of those that actually lead me places, not necessarily that attack me right away. I'm sure you will eventually, as soon as you get the right opportunity. Oh, Joko, thank you. It would almost be enough, or, or a good idea, to get enough Scoria to do an upgrade of both my axe and of my club. I don't know if that's going to be in the cards or not. I only have about 64, 66,000 with my large pouches. Okay, get in there. And. Cool. Gotta get that out before they explode. Once again, though, got these statues. I don't really care for those whispers after they die. And statue waiting for me up there. Big guy that doesn't know I'm here. That works for me. Oh, it's just you. I was wondering what she was doing there. She was just kind of standing watch, I guess? And we're kind of back. We just did a big loop here. I wonder if that's where I'm headed, ultimately. Down into that courtyard. There's a large door down there that could be where I'm headed. Hmm. Shadow the Ashen. This is... I hope it's a bit more of a challenging boss than Amirun. Amirun, at the end of that large, large dungeon, just left a lot to be desired. All right, let's see if we can help with the stuns. And got a little bit of a stun. Excellent, nice job, Jokul. I do love this club. I really, really do enjoy this club. Uh, Jokul? Oh, you sense that there are other people coming. Tell you what, let's we'll focus on you if you can handle them. Oh, rain out of stamina. Nice finish, Jokel. Appreciate you. That hmm, I don't know, fifty two thousand. It's not going to be quite enough. It's not going to be, in fact, it's not even going to be anywhere near enough. I'm going to need somewhere in the neighborhood of 90 to 100,000. Is that, that's bigger than the others, isn't it? I wonder. I can travel to it. Is there something up there? Aha, yes there is. And it's a large Scoria stash. All right. Let's see. A couple of big open rooms to the left and the right. Make sure we're not walking into an ambush. Sears Talisman is definitely putting in some work, though. What are you even attacking? Oh, it's just someone who came from the other side. That's all right. That's going to be okay. Depending, I see shadow people off to the right. Looks like they're already coming at me. Uh, I shouldn't be doing this, but I'm going to. Oh. How are we doing, Jokel? Back up, back up, back up. Not bad. Not bad, all things considered. That could have gone much, much worse. And my reward is a twin. I'm very okay with the twin. Oh, and I keep saying that I'm going to go back and upgrade. And at this point, I feel like I'm somewhat committed to just pushing on. All 
right, let's see what's in this dark area. Shadow people again. Luckily, these ones are really easy to dispatch. As, oh, as long as you can avoid their first grab. And another twin for our troubles. Indeed. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Trying to make sure that I'm being mindful of using my lantern when it's really dark, especially for anyone who's watching these videos because YouTube does tend to make things even darker. Right, we got a few, well, just two. Back up. Ooh. That was close. And I missed the big stun. And I don't know that I've hit really anyone. Okay, Jokel is doing okay. He's a little bit hurt, and I, I think he's already used his gourd. What are those? Interesting. So were they actually just blocking the path while those enemies were still alive? That could be interesting. So you can't simply just run past everything? At least it's a more clever way of blocking progress. And how many large scorias do I have? I have three. We're getting close to being able to do two upgrades. The problem is, it just seems like... Uh, it, it seems like there's not the wonderful Skyrim shortcuts that I would like to see. Like, I would love that every few minutes I would loop back around to the entrance... But I don't know that I'm going to get that luxury. These dungeons tend to be very, very sprawling. Ooh, I don't know about this. Statue with a bit of a mark at the bottom. Are you finally here to fight? Yes, you are. Nice hit. Nice hit again. Back up, back up. Wow, still hit me all the way from there. And another one right here. Can I get in there? Back up, back up. Ugh, I don't know. I just have a feeling this place goes on and on. See if we can finish before the explosion. We did. We did. All right. I don't know. We may actually have to cut it while we're still in the dungeon. Which wasn't really my intention. But then again, I guess Seed of the Matriarch did take two different episodes, didn't it? Are you... Mmm... I was thinking maybe they were just waiting for me to loot that, and I think this just looped her around to the other one, right? It did. Alright, let's just keep climbing a little bit. Make sure that they don't appear behind me, though. Tell you what, why don't we drop that and let's get a spear, see if we can pull this one. Well, the answer was yes, but oh, now they're both. And they don't kill each other. Back up, back up. Can we get the finish here quickly? All right, one is down. And, okay, we got them both. Let's get my lantern. And actually, was there really nothing up here? A medium scoria stash, but that was just a drop. Do these say? Oh, I can climb up. 
Oh, I see there's a door. That should have been a little bit more obvious to me. Can I break this? No. Looks like maybe I could have climbed over it. Ooh, is that worth dropping down for? Yeah, I mean, it could be. No way of knowing until we actually... Oh, I do see... Yep, shadow people. Go for the kill, go for the... Mm. Thought I could get the kill off in time. Maiden shelter. All right, new shield. And was that it? I think that was actually the ramp that we just saw. So let's see. 70 stamina stability up to ooh, minus 75% stamina regen. I don't know. That might be okay. Really risking a lot of scory here. Oh. I just heard someone. Right. Okay. I have no idea how long this place is going to go on for. I would imagine pretty far. But I think we're going to have to wrap it up here. And we'll continue right from this spot. I'm not even going to go back and upgrade. Because I would love to be able to continue on. And see just how sprawling this palace really is. Oh boy. But that is going to do it for this episode of Blue Plays Action. Hope you're still enjoying. Hope you're giving this game a chance. And if you are, let me know in the comments below. But I want to thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you next time.